Apostolic leadership. What does it mean? And how can we express it in clear categories and also apply them in the proper ways and the right settings even today as the church grows in Asia and Africa and Latin America and people are claiming all kinds of titles for themselves. Prophet, apostle, bishop, and then higher than that, patriarch, and one even has the appointed son of God. Titles are important, aren't they, in ecclesiastical hierarchy. It's quite amazing that the most independent churches in the world are trying to adopt the most formal titles that are used in the history of Christendom. I can understand that because we attempt to define ourselves by title, don't we? And the word apostle is being used a lot as well. I've been to pastors' conferences all over the world where so-and-so will say, I'm apostle. And uh, I often ask them, are you an apostle like the original 12? And they always, to the man, say, no, not like the original 12, somebody who is doing work with initiative and vision and risk. That is possibly the last and the most generic sense of the word apostle. If you're using it in the meaning of having been sent, the word apostle is simply being sent. A missionary is somebody who is sent. You're taking risks for God in an entrepreneurial spirit, trusting God to provide, even facing great suffering. You are in the general sense an apostle, but not in the technical sense of an apostle in the scriptures. For example, the apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, the Lord Jesus said there were 12, 12 who occupied the 12 thrones in Israel, Matthew 19 and Revelation 21. You cannot fit, don't wait for a vacancy in that apostolic band. Not only by historical qualification, but by authoritative function. In Ephesians 2.20, it says the whole universal body, the church, in history and geography over the 2,000 plus years since Pentecost has been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets. And I don't think you'll consider yourself as a foundation in, in the sense of Peter and James and, and John. The apostle Paul was in the middle between the 12 Remember, Judas was uh, disqualified and, and they voted Matthias in. So keep the 12 together. Keep the general sense together, which allows you and me, we get to do all kinds of things uh, for Christ. The Apostle Paul says, I was as one born out of due time. I was the last one. Uh, and in 1 Corinthians, how he could not be diminished or marginalized as an apostle, that the signs of an apostle were even done by his hand. I want you to be careful with your titles. If you really want a title, I've got a recommendation. Pastor is not a first name, apostle is not a first name, bishop is not a first name. Those are good for administrative and legal reasons. But in the scriptures, the best first name is brother, sister. It's a family metaphor. Doctor and bishop and professor and apostle, maybe good second names. Your brother, so-and-so. Be careful of apostolic leadership. Uh, don't confuse people so they think you have the same normative uh, authority as the apostles with the foundations of the entire universal church. I'd probably hasten to add that you're not even a good foundation for the congregation that you planted because I know your heart and I know my heart and it's easy to disappoint people. Do not have them look at you as the foundation of anything. Maybe you started something. Deflect to the one who started it all through you.